All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Blake here with the Team Nemesis Team the Gates, uh, bringing you day five of our case opening of Phantom Rage. Uh, on the left hand side over here, I'll put up uh, how much we have spent so far on each of the boxes versus how much we have pulled, uh, and then compare that to how much retail is as well. So, the last two days have been really good to us. Hopefully, we can keep this trend up and going as we go to five on the series. Again, I hope you all are enjoying and watching each day as these go up, because uh, it does mean a lot to me and the rest of our team as well. Um, there we go. So, day five. I think we started on the right-hand side on day four, so naturally I have to go to the left-hand side on day five. And let's see what we can get today. <laughs> Starting out already, I think this is the same ultra we pulled uh, on the first pack of the last box, uh, Mutant M05. So if I'm not mistaken, that was the exact same ultra we pulled. I don't think it has any value, but it's nice either way, especially if that archetype does get more support and become uh, better as time goes on. Inferno Doom Archfiend. Scoot that over a little bit so we can see it next to a nice little assault up there. Again, I don't remember which video that I mentioned it, but shout out to the maker of this mat. Uh, they did a lot of Infernoble stuff, and it's extremely, extremely well made. Very, very happy with it, and they have like deck boxes, card sleeves, uh, trade binders, like the whole nine yards for Infernoble stuff, and it's all super, super clean. <laughs> That's our third warning point, so that officially completes our playset of warning point. Um, would be nice if it was like a playset of Zeus or... Alpha, torn scales even, but it's okay. It's some value that we're making back from this box either way. Be really nice if we can get like a Lulu or something uh, as well, just a quick little 20. Alrighty. Hyper Stadium. So, again, don't think it has any value, but it's okay. That's only one side of the box. We still have five packs to go. Might have something neat on this side, who knows? Or it could just be Oops All Supers, which I have a feeling it's going to be the latter of the Oops All Supers. And Rock Band, Zeno Guitar. Melfies. Let's see, let's see. Meat and synthesis. Last pack on the left side. Again, probably going to be the last Oops All Super from this side. But we can find out. Hey, there's our third Stringalanius. That's a, a place out of that. Doesn't have any value, it's just one I don't see quite as frequently. Move the box off to the side. So I have my stack of packs. So again, if this is mappable, this should be an ultra right off the top, because uh, that's where the Mutant M05 was. Yep, dual avatar, empowered, Kong Wow. Wow, this looks really bad. <laughs> Hang on one second. Yeah, this has some definitely uh, problems with quality control on this. I'm trying to get a focus. Yeah, so you can see it has that imprint right on the middle of the name. Uh, and then it also has like a little golden flake under the name that just kind of got there. But this is awful. <laughs> I mean, I would consider this damage right out the pack. Eh, you can't really feel the dent, but I mean, you can definitely, definitely see it. So another uh, proven point of quality control that Konami has been very subpar recently. Maximum Gold, I think, is the best example of that. If you haven't seen the uh, video where I opened one of those, uh, I would highly encourage going back to watch it just so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. If you don't already know, quality control at Konami has been subpar, I'll say. Not the worst thing, but oh boy, is it far from the uh, the best. Let's see. 
So we should be getting close to this secret on this side, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, speaking you shall receive, Phantom Knight of the Torn Scales. This is also one of the big ones. Uh, I think this is honestly my favorite artwork of the entire set. Very beautiful card. Actually worth a good little bit as well. So pull him off to the side. Clear up my trash. Ooh, hit the camera, my bad. I have to get these packs from the side, that way I'm not cluttering the, the space. So we might be close to value back from this side alone, or from this uh, box, reaching, uh, reaching uh, an equal value at least. If we like a Lulu or a Fractale, that would be really good for hitting that, uh, what I paid for it, not MSRP. I don't think, uh, maybe only one of these boxes that we've opened so far has been remotely close to matching MSRP, which is rather unfortunate for a set, Ooh. or at least a core set. If you look at Rise of the Duelist, there's so many cards that are worth more than the box itself. Hey, Raiders Knight, so that's, again, not bad. I think like two, three bucks. Um, but that probably means the rest of these are going to be in the category of Oops All Supers, which we will find out just in case there's a Starlight amongst them. Fists. Three packs to go. Ah, the new Gizmet card. I forgot about that being in here as a super. You missed. And the last pack for day number five. We're almost at the halfway point. Yeah, virtual world, lao lao. So, again, today's not too bad by any means. With the Raiders Knight, Torn Scales, which, love that card. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, our last two. So, same way I've been doing, I will have what we paid for the box on the side, along with how much we made from the box. Uh, and then in addition to that, how much we paid total for all the boxes versus what we pulled total, uh, and how much, uh, what we would have paid if it was MSRP. Ooh, that's bad. I almost been at this warning point and a half. Moving a little too fast. Um, either way, I will include what MSRP would have been versus what, uh, we would have pulled so far, just to give you an idea of, again, is it good actually by these MSRP. Anyways, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow for day six, the halfway point of this Phantom Rage case opening.